The Family Planning Association of Trinidad and Tobago, FPAT, is working hard to improve sexual and reproductive health for youth. Head of the organization, Professor Rosemary Bell Antoine, says children need access to information on sexual reproductive health. She argues that the information protects the vulnerable children and empowers them. Regularly having sex at ages far below 18 or even 16, it must be demonstrated that it is not only reasonable, but our duty as policy makers and service providers to protect them with appropriate information, education, and services. She notes as well that hard facts and data need to be gathered in a fight to increase reproductive health. In the move to change, there's a dire need for disaggregated data. And that is so for funding, it is so for winning the arguments with governments and policymakers. Do we know how many people drop out of school because of discrimination and stigma? Do we know how many dropouts because of teenage pregnancy, rape, or incest? Do we understand the negative impact on productivity and capacity for in in innovation? Education and research, therefore, are also aspects of the FPAT's mandate. The FPAT president says that as the legal and policy framework is being addressed across different platforms, her organization is bringing training which will improve understanding of the various problems. Professor Antoine says already they have had workshops with private schools and youth organizations and are only now awaiting government school input as they organize a curriculum and plan to move forward in 2018. Funding is a challenge, she says, which FPAT has taken on in order to achieve a sustainable flow of financial support for bettering sexual and reproductive health in the Caribbean.